Hello everybody and welcome to episode 124 of ASA, my Q&A series where I answer your questions. I got six questions today, but before we get into that, as always, I'd just like to give a huge massive thank you for the support in the last episode. I greatly just appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch and also ask questions. So with that being said, if you would like to ask a question for the next episode, episode 125, leave it down below in the comments and while you're down there, consider dropping a like. Please? Now. Please? Now. Please? Now let's get into the question starting with Captain Bricks. ASA, if you had $200, what August slash September sets would you get? Also, do you watch Murder Drones? It's another show glitch made. Oh yeah. I do watch Murder Drones, or rather, I guess I should say I have seen it. It's pretty cool. I do like it. And yes, my favorite character is N. And here are the buttons. Beep, boop, 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 boop. And now to answer your question of what sets I'm going to be getting, I'm definitely going to be spending more than $200, but I'm planning on getting, in fact, I already pre-ordered the Creative Play Droid Builder. It's not my favorite set. I honestly don't really know why I'm getting it because it's probably a little overpriced. And on top of that, I just do not like the shoulders on the droids. I think they look ridiculous, but it does come with Chopper, so that's pretty cool. And I'm also not a huge, huge fan of the minifigure that you get, but for the 20th Anniversary Edition minifigure, you get a young leia and i'm like i'm halfway done with the collection and i would like to get all of the minifigures so i'm like killing two birds with one stone kind of dealio i'm getting the set i don't care for it but i want the minifigure and i i think it'll grow on me i think it'll be more fun than i think it's definitely a set designed for kids so i'm gonna get it and i'm probably gonna just keep the droids playing and do nothing with it ever so after maybe posting on like instagram or something i don't know but i also pre-ordered the imperial star destroyer i'm definitely excited for that set I'm guessing that's probably going to be my favorite set this year. It might be a little overpriced, which you can argue because it's a little smaller than like the last Star Destroyer, but I don't care. I'm so glad to finally be getting a Lego Star Wars Star Destroyer playset. Plus, it comes with a Cal Kestis minifigure for the 25th anniversary, which is absolutely amazing. So I'm like, this is just an awesome set. Super glad to be getting it. And then I'm also planning on getting Ahsoka Tano's Duel on Peridia. I think that's how you say it. Looks kind of cool. I'm not a huge fan of that night trooper it's kind of ugly <laughs> But I do really like the Thrawn minifigure. I think the minifigures are great other than maybe also Ezra's eyes being weird. That's just... Oh my goodness! Yeah. I'm not a fan of the stickers, but I'm still going to get the set anyways. And I'll probably do a short review on it, even though no one will probably care. Then I'm also planning on getting the Desert Skiff and Sarlacc Pit. Yes, I'm well aware that this set is overpriced and I'm stupid for buying it. I actually kind of like the Sarlacc Pit. I think it looks really cool. And also Nine Nub, like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> And then, of course, of course, Jedi Bob Starfighter. I don't know much about Jedi Bob. I never owned an original Jedi Bob minifigure. And it ties in with that Lego Star Wars show that we're going to be getting, Rebuild the Galaxy, which I think actually is going to be a fun show. I'm excited to see it. Those are the sets I'm planning on buying. That's definitely more than $200, but I'm looking forward to it. I'll probably do short reviews on those. So yeah, fun stuff. Next question is from Scott Davis. ASA, what's the best Pirates of the Caribbean ship Lego set? Potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. I'm have to go with the black pearl because i mean just look at it it's gorgeous it's time for you to walk the blank Next question is from Plurpus ASA. Have you ever tried potato puffs? What? I have not, but that sounds very interesting. So I googled it, and from some of the pictures I've seen, I'm like, dang, those look pretty good. So I would be open to try them, but I haven't as of now. Next question is from Clone Sixty Six Studios ASA. What's your favorite color? As a long time Minecraft player, I'm gonna have to go with cyan. Cyan kind of just became my favorite color, honestly, because of Minecraft, and I love it. That makes sense to. Me. Next question is from P R A W J forever or Proj forever. I don't know if I said that right. ASA, do you have the original Cloud City? No, sadly, I do not. Squidward. And the last question is from Mayo Husco ASA. Have you ever been to Idaho, America's Potato Land? Potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. Sadly, I have not been to Idaho. Idaho is home of the potato, or so they say. I just love me some potatoes. That's all I know. My life, it's potato. Anyways, that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you all for your wonderful questions. If you have any questions for the next episode, leave it down below in the comments. Like I said in the beginning of the episode, I'll pin my favorite to the top, which means you get 
forget to go first. Leave a like while you're down there. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're interested in checking out some of my more recent LEGO Star Wars shorts, I've now done two battle packs from 2018. The Imperial Trooper Battle Pack and the First Order Transport Speeder Battle Pack. That's a weird name. So if you want to check those out, they're available in the cards. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!